Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. Welcome to this week's Top Stock Picks. I'm Tracy Reinick and I'm joined at the chairs by Shiraz Mian with a couple interesting stocks that have just reported and it's much better than expected. A big retailer and one of the big banks. Shiraz, we're going to start with you with the big bank. Sure. Bank of America, BAC is the BAC. ticker. I, I've been a fan of Bank of America for a long time and uh, was really saddened. Uh, how the market mistreated Bank of America in the entire space during the downturn. Yeah. And it was a total head scratcher because the, the, uh, the, the, the levels to which valuations dropped could only be justified if the market was convinced that we were heading towards a recession. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the, the reality is that even if we were heading to a recession, or if we are heading towards it, which I don't agree with, okay. but uh, we are late in the cycle. Uh, there's no clear sign that uh, a recession is imminent. Uh, but even if one believes in the worst case scenario, banks in general, Bank of America in particular, the balance sheets are so strong now. Uh, yeah. relative to past cycles, particularly post Dodd-Frank and the more higher capital requirements, that the quality of asset base is so much more superior that the inevitable deterioration that will happen when we do see the real downturn right. will be a lot less severe now than it has been in the past. Okay, so you don't think... Um, that we're having any kind of the credit quality issues we had. To the extent as has been typical, say, over the last three, four, five downturns. Right. Consumer side, the business side, there are some legitimate worries on the commercial real yeah. estate side, but uh, that's a, a key part of the, the, the portfolio, the loan portfolio. But overall, for all these banks, Bank okay. of America in particular, the quality of the asset base is a, is, is a much higher order. Uh, so this is the big macro issue that's been weighing on these yeah. guys. And some of these worries apparently have eased after Christmas. Uh, Bank of America has really popped after that. Their earnings report was very good too. All of the, uh, the, the earnings reports for the banks turned out to be not as bad yeah. as the market appeared to be fearing. Uh, but Bank of America had legitimate, positive, bright areas in its <laughs> earnings release. Yeah. Its, its loan portfolio increased more than its large cap peers. Uh, uh, the outlook on the expense side has been a real bright spot with Bank of America. And surprisingly, and this thing doesn't get a lot of airtime uh, and doesn't get discussed enough. Bank of America has been investing heavily in digital banking. So it's really become like this, this huge fintech company. Uh, and, the, uh, and that's really resonating with the younger customers. Mm -hmm. So they have uh, the, uh, the Siri equivalent called Erica. Okay. And the downloads of Erica uh, on, the, on the smartphones and the engagement that Erica has uh, uh, with its customers is, is just producing growth that you won't typically associate with a company Bank of America size. Yeah. And, and that's really useful when we are thinking about the cost base and the outlook for expenses for 2019 and beyond because that's a very efficient, low cost, high margin way of engaging with customers. So the outlook that management shared on this Q4 call was for f flat expenses, flat uh, uh, credit metrics for, for 2019 and beyond, which is way better uh, than what you would see uh, with all of its peers. So uh, the stock was 32 and change back in March about a year ago, went down to about 22 Wow! Uh, just prior to Christmas, and uh, it's currently around 29. I think there's plenty of momentum. Okay, that was my next question. If it's got this rebound off those lows, it's, do you see it still? I, I totally see it because okay. estimates are going up. 
Uh, I see estimates for 2019 as well as for 2020 uh, going up primarily on this digital banking uh, okay. investment and the benefits of that. Even if you uh, even if you assume that the loan portfolios will not grow. Uh, as many people suspect they won't. Yeah. Uh, so just having this, this, this enormous margin expansion on the back of uh, a flat expenses, primarily on the basis of this Erica and broader digital banking, uh, is a huge for Bank of America. And more acknowledgement of that, more appreciation of that should continue driving EPS estimates higher. Valuation is still very reasonable, yeah. even after the 20 percent jump we have seen in the stock since uh, uh, since Christmas, estimates are going up, and I believe this trend is here to stay. And they pay a two percent dividend, which is about as okay. safe uh, yeah. and as juicy in this environment as it gets. So, income component, also the capital gain component. I think it's it's an overlooked, hated part yeah. of the market which people need uh, to pay more attention to. Okay, my stock is also in a hated part of the market, which is retail. That's right. It was kind of in in the beginning of 2017 and everyone's like, the worst is over, but then everyone hated it by the end of the year. And then we've had kind of a mixed response to the holiday season. Some have done very well, um, some have not. Overall, it was a good season, but it, it seemed like hit or miss. But my company, VF Corp, ticker VFC, is one of the ones that just hit it out of the park. Sure. Everybody knew, well, let's say, their, their brands are, are kind of hit or miss. They have Vans, which is super popular, That's especially right. among teens. Um, then they have the Timberland, yeah. kind of popular, that's out there on the outdoorsy sure. area, and then North Face, that's right. which has always been real popular, but then uh, Canada Goose came along, those coats started getting you know, a little hotter than the that's North right. Face. Little more expensive, but not that different of the price point. Sure. And so people were worried about North Face going into this report, but North Face crushed it. They hit it out of the park up 14% in this last quarter. That was huge, double digits. And then across the board, Vans, of course, did super sure. well. Another area I was kind of concerned with them was international, especially China, because we, we got that warning from Apple. Um, their retail spending is down. Then you thought, oh, you know, VF Corp is going to get hit over there. But apparently the vans or something was working, or the North Face, because yeah. that was up 18%. So just huge numbers. you, you got to like where they are. And then they're spinning off their kind of boring brands, I like to call them. They call them like the legacy brands. Sure. Lee and Wrangler being spun off in April, as long as the IPO market reopens. We'll see on that one. But... You know, I, I kind of liken it to what happened with Hewlett Packard. Sure. And when they broke up into two companies, there was the boring one, which was the hardware, and then the software in the cloud was the exciting one. But really, the boring stock actually did quite well sure. because everybody was like, eh, who wants that? Yeah. Got really cheap. Yep. Same thing could happen here with the legacy of Lee and Wrangler being spun off. People might be like, eh, I don't care about them because they are trying to unlock the value of sure. their hotter brands. Yep. But that's going to be something to watch because right now the market is really under valuing those companies in the spin-off. That's right. So I like it for all these reasons and expecting those estimates to rise. They just reported earnings, so we haven't had the analyst changes come in yet. But if you're looking for a retailer, you're worried, go for the ones that are seeing that they're on trend, yes. they're doing well internationally, they have just the really strong brands. And Absolutely. right now, VF Corp is one of those. It's a, it's a good company. I've I've had VF Corp in the top ten portfolio. It was yeah. last year. We had a good good performance with them. Uh, they have this growing part of the business, which they call as the direct to consumer, yeah. and that's a steadily growing yeah. part of the sales, and that's a high margin business. Yeah. So uh, a good company. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Good. so we have a couple stocks that are beaten down. You might want to take a look. They've rebounded off their lows, but market might still be overlooking these two. So VF Corp and Bank of America for this week. But join us next week as we bring you more top stock picks. And especially during earnings season, a lot is going on. So we're going to be having some interesting picks coming up for you in the next couple of weeks. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you then.